Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about how to hollow out objects. Okay, so first, I don't have a 3D printer, so I don't use um, this technique, technique uh, for hollowing out, but I can explain it. So we need an example, so I add this head mesh and I delete the, the eyes so we only need this one and I'm smoothing the eyes a little bit first this mesh here is a closed yeah a closed mesh so I think it's called a manifold mesh or a waterproof mesh so I think you can print this head as a solid piece. Okay, so yeah, it looks solid, but in fact, in Nomad Sculpt, every mesh is hollow. So when we use here the trim tool and we trim the head and symmetry off, so we can look inside the mesh the head mesh and you see here the head has a, yeah, a inside this is the back face of your mesh but there is no um, no printable yeah, shell um, with a thickness so um, we need to hollow it out for printing so how to do this I think in Nomad Sculpt there are two options. F um, f the first option is we, we need a second object that fits inside the other object and then we subtract it from the main object. So in this case we need a second head and subtract it from the other head. This is the first option. So first I, I clear here the, the layers and here in the hierarchy you can create a clone of your head and you see here the red outline of the active object at the moment and when you use the gizmo you can scale it so something like this. And here in the side view you can check everything and there are problem zones so here you see with a gizmo you it's not possible to um, create a, a nice even shell here from the head so you have to adjust it uh, manually so you have to use the move tool and use the symmetry on the left side and adjust here your mesh a little bit so that everything of the inner mesh yeah and you see here these are the problem zones you can um, here see the other mesh through the main object mesh and here you have to, to adjust um, your your object and the other problem zones are the ears and so on so it's possible to use here at the bottom there's a solo view and you can here adjust your your mesh for example with a smooth tool and you can smooth the um, the ears and the nose and you don't need it so make everything a little bit smaller and so on so then check everything that there are no overlappings and so on and adjust it if needed so here I use the move brush
think here we need um, a little bit more space. Okay, so when we use it like this here, we yeah, we have no um, no hole in the mesh after the boolean operation. Or so let's try it. Here in the hierarchy, you can hide your mesh and select the other mesh so and here i show you something you can change it to additive so when you select now your meshes you can see through the other mesh a little bit clearer what happens here so select both meshes and use here the boolean operation press boolean and now you're happy so we can check the mesh we can use uh, the trim option with hole filling on here and use the polygon and trim this part here so now change your material back to opaque and you see now our head is inside hollow yeah this is option one so subtract um, one object from the other okay oops so let's start again with a second option. Smooth the eyes a little bit. <coughs> so the second option is to use um, a shell extraction. For this you need the mask. And when you press on the screen your complete object is masked and I use also uh, again the, the additive material to see through the mesh and here in the mask settings you can sh set a shell thickness. You have different options here. Um, here you see uh, at this position there's a small minus and this means it goes inside the mesh and here you can change it here plus minus um, so half is inside half is outside and when you use the plus option it's uh, extracting outside so let's let's test this test it so I change back to opaque and extract here in the mask settings so you get something this fat guy here so we don't need it so we want the extraction inside so we have to change to minus and I think we have to adjust adjust the thickness so change back to additive and extract it so here you see your your shell and I think it's nice so Okay, but let's adjust the value a little bit and make it a little bit uh, um, thicker, um, so extract it, so to the point we get problems. So this is the point here, you see here on the nose, there are problem zones and um, one problem zone here is um, when you look here in the opaque material view, here you see the inner mesh is coming out and this is a problem. So, okay. You can try here um, to, to work with a smooth tool and mask parts and 
yeah it's not so easy so i try it so let's change back to opaque and here when you use the cell mask symmetry off and mask here a part of your object at the bottom here you find a um, um, hide mask option so if it's uh, not there you find it i think here um, wireframe grid cube snap uh, here display settings or add shortcuts no it's i think by default so here you can look inside the mesh and you can use the smooth tool and smooth here some parts out but it doesn't work um, complete here i don't get it um, complete clean so yeah it works a little bit but not and here you see also here's the overlapping and um, so it's not easy to fix everything uh, with a mask extraction so let's clear the mask here and additive wireframe so let's try a trick so let's go a few steps back okay let's see the additive view and here are the problem zones when you extracted your mesh you can try to to find a point where you can punch a hole inside your mesh so for this here i'm using the insert tool and i select the cylinder and i insert here a cylinder and i change it back to to this mesh sorry i additive so this is the extracted mesh and this is yeah i delete one head so use your cylinder and punch a hole inside so we don't need so much topology and you can hide this cylinder select the second mesh and boolean here this hole here you see now you can look inside your your head through the hole and i change it now back to additive so and now you can use the voxel remesh so you can use a higher um, um, resolution and now let's watch what happens so this is a um, interesting zone here with a with a nose here there's a such a overlapping and uh, here are not nice uh, mesh zones so when you press your voxel remesh and now you get um, a much nicer result so the only the only problem that um, on the mesh is here on the ear uh, so when the mesh or the other mesh comes through the um, um, the other mesh <laughs> okay i hope you understand so um, here you can use the smooth tool and adjust the radius a little bit and smooth only this part and now you have a clean hollow head so let's use the trim tool hole filling is on and i use the polygon so i 
I think it's uh, a nice result here in the inside. So, yeah, you can work with it, I think. The, the thing here is when I go back a few steps, I do a few undo steps. So, here's the thing with a cylinder and I change back to additive. So here this is a mesh before voxel remeshing uh, or before uh, punching the hole inside. So let's let's see what happens here when you now you see the voxel remesh. So and when you remesh it now the inner mesh disappears. So you got your problem here with the ear, but uh, you don't have an inner mesh. So you get this. So you have to punch a hole <laughs> in the mesh yeah, to hollow it out. So yeah, I hope it helps a little bit and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.